Hey guys, it's Tech Grant here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a new laptop. That is right. If you guys do not know, I got this laptop by HP. We're going to set up with you guys. So let's get right into it. First thing we got to do, of course, though, is open our new laptop. I literally did a review on this laptop a little while back, and the video is doing really well, like stupid well. It's over like 7K views or something like that. I have to double check. But uh, yeah, if you guys want like a full stress test and full review of the laptop, I will actually actually I'll actually have that video linked down below if you want to go check it out. Also have it as an end card as well too. But for the time being though, let's pull this laptop on out. I will always say pulling out a new laptop out of any new packaging always is nice. There's also got that fresh laptop smell. Laptop smell. I, I might my words are just not coming out today, right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys how to set up a new laptop just in case if any of you are wondering how to do it because there's always that person out there and don't worry i got your back so let's get right into it okay we're in we're in our new laptop everything's good first of all we gotta set a region of course for us we're in the us so we're just gonna set that up like so that's usually the first thing that always asks you and now the second thing we need to check is like what we're gonna use are we gonna use a keyboard input yes we're not gonna use any special language do you want to add a second keyboard uh we're gonna skip that not really too fancy and oh i should probably blur this on out mm. So uh, it's going to add it in the internet, of course, you're just going to select your internet, whatever it is. I'm just going to blow this out for you guys. You guys don't need to see this. I'm going to set this up real quick. Okay, with that, our internet is all set up. Now, what is next? We got to set up anything else? Or is it just checking for updates for Windows 11? Probably. This laptop is using Windows 11, which the UI for it actually looks pretty good. Uh, I still prefer uh, Windows 10 Pro, but... Uh, I'm kind of getting used to Windows 11 since I've been setting up a lot of systems for it. And so far, hasn't been too bad. Uh, of course, we're going to set the terms of agreement. Absolutely. And then after that, we're going to set a device name. Now you can name this whatever you want. For me, we're going to name it something silly. Uh, we're going to say Baka, just for jokes. And with that, our device name is now set. Hopefully, hopefully the person I give this to just does not realize the name. Baka means idiot. Because that would be really funny if they realized that. And they're just like okay uh do you want to sign up a microsoft account uh yeah we will we got to sign in that anyway either way because windows does that so let me sign in this real quick and we'll be good to go okay now that we're setting a microsoft account we need to create a pen for the pen i'm just gonna make it something simple of course i'm not gonna share my pen because with this you don't want to usually share with so i'm gonna type up mine right now okay now for everything else you can just leave it as is you don't really mess with this at all and then the final thing too you just check down here yeah it's good and then it's going to ask you what you want to do for your system. This doesn't really matter too much. We're going to skip this. And we're going to decline. Bro, how many subscription things? They like three, three different subscription things. I just said decline all of them. The Microsoft Office for the Xbox Game Pass. I had a, I already have most of that stuff uh, pre-set up on other systems. So I just share it. So I just got blasted that three times in a row, which is super annoying. If they usually offer you a subscription, just decline it out of the gate. Because if you do it, then it's going to get a little bit more complicated. They'll make you charge and some other stuff here. But yeah, no, after all that, after we got all the basic things done, we should be able to take a few minutes, process the system, and then the system's going to be all set to go. So now the laptop is all set up, the settings are all set and stuff. Uh, we can actually now install Google Chrome. That's what we want to do next here. Because Microsoft S is nice and all, but I don't really prefer using it. And also, I know other people who just don't think it's the best thing in the world. So we're going to install Google Chrome onto this actual device. So that way, they can have it to set it up. So basically, we're just going to go to this site here. We're going to download it. And with that, it's going to start an install. You can see right here, it's been a few times I tried installing it. And we're going to just open the file that's in our folder. And with that, it's going to set up an update. And we're all the good to go for Google Chrome. It's going to install itself. Okay, is it good now? We good? Yep, Google Chrome is installed finally. Now we got Google Chrome installed. We're going to get rid of some of the bloatware. If you guys do not know what bloatware is, usually some stuff that comes on the laptops automatically. And most times around, they'll usually be a free trial and then they'll try to charge you or annoy you or sound notifications making you want to buy it. Now, of course, we don't want that because we do not need that. So what we're going to do is remove that stuff. So... For example, here we're going to go into apps and programs. So we're just going to remove this stuff from here. And we're going to, of course, remove Mac Affair. I don't, I didn't say that right. But if you guys did not know, this is the one that a lot of actual things try to get you to have. And it'll try to charge you over time. It also takes a, a gig. So you can actually save yourself a gig if you uninstall us. And that's what we're going to do. Are you sure you uninstall us? Absolutely. And with that, we're good to go. Now, it's going to most likely say you still have a free trial going on. So we don't really care about the trial at all. We're just going to remove it all together. Yes, absolutely. Continue. 
and with that we'll be good to go and now i'll be the first thing to blow it where we want to remove now this is one application of a few others then now we're gonna go the other ones okay we don't really need to provide any feedback because we just don't honestly care with no thanks and with that we're gonna set our pc now and then of course mac affair will be removed from the system Okay, so now that Mac Affair is all installed, we're gonna install this thing too. There's like this some small stuff that they usually add and I just don't like it. So if it ain't anything I normally use, I usually remove it. So we're gonna move this of course. And with that, that'll be taken care of. Sometimes they add some games on here too. And if you wanna remove the games, you can, but sometimes the games aren't like too big. So you can honestly leave them be. Yeah, so like for example here, Solitaire is on this PC. We could theoretically remove it, but honestly, it's not gonna harm this PC at all to have it just because it's only like seven kilobytes. So that isn't anything big. If it was like a gigabyte and something I don't use, I usually remove it. So that is just something to keep into consideration. We're also gonna remove this Mac Affair uh, web advisor. Okay, we're also going to remove the express vpn too we don't need this we are going to download a uh, malware protection thing but it isn't going to be something we pay for we can just run it whenever we want to so the thing we're going to use is malware bytes the free trial version lets you run it anytime you want uh, it's not automatic though so it won't be do automatic uh, uh scheduled activities uh, unless you pay for it if you want to do that go for it i don't particularly do it i just download malware bytes and if i feel like i've done something like sus i usually just scan my pc and nine times out of ten i usually don't find anything but it's always good to have some form of malware protection first of all we're going to get ourselves malware bytes the free version so that way we can actually protect our pc without having to pay for it so we're just download the free trial one and then with that we're just going to open this up like so and we'll be good to go so here's our malware bytes. We're gonna say get started, maybe later. Uh, just we're gonna just ignore this. This is optional. And then where we go? We got now malware bytes available. Now this is the free version. So let's say for example you download something, you feel like it's us even after you deleted it from your storage, you can actually just scan. And of course it'll scan your computer for any malware. And most times around you probably won't find anything unless you actually go into some shady website, do some shady stuff. Now the other thing we're gonna add is ad blocker. This is just gonna be something useful if you use YouTube and stuff like that. You can use that block ads on, you know, YouTube and who doesn't like that? So we're going to add that to our Google Chrome because we made our Google Chrome the actual default application for just looking things up. Okay, so we're just going to add the ad blocker and now we're good to go with that. That way now we can block ads on YouTube so we don't get like bombarded by them. Okay, the new laptop is all set up. We got Google Chrome installed. We got the Windows working. We got everything all good to go. So I just need to hand this off to my person. But of course, if you guys did find this video interesting or even helpful, then make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed so you don't miss any of our awesome tech content. And so I'll see you guys for another tech video. Tech Grant, out.